Speed Robertson Crusoe the Pantomime. <laughs>
tell me about it. We need to make some money. But Al, that's me I've stopped. <laughs> well, there must be some cash around here somewhere. So you keep your eye out. Oh, you already have. <laughs> <laughs> what about becoming a tribute band? Hey, that's not a bad idea. We could be the Everly Brothers. Yes! Drink and Everly, drink and Everly! If only we had something we could sell. What, like those Big Macs all down on the harbour? Hey, that's it, Crossbones. You're not as dark as I thought. We make our money selling so authentic pirate souvenirs. But we haven't got any authentic pirates, even Let's go make something. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, girls and boys. That's me, Watson. Hello, girls and boys. Since I moved here to Brazil? I have no idea what that is. Oh, no. I come from a lovely little village near called Hayes. It's near Gerard's Cross, I don't suppose you've ever heard of it. <laughs> anyway, I moved out here after my husband died, Captain Barney Barnacle, because uh, I love Brazil so much, you see. The alcohol and tobacco are so cheap. But I read in the newspapers the other day that they're not good for you. No, so I'm not going to do it again. I'm not going to buy another newspaper, especially the news of the world. Uh, the plantation where I work is uh, just over there, and that's the closest thing to a plot you'll be getting this afternoon. Yes. But I moved out here for a little sun there, and nine months later I had one. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was better than that, but alright then. <laughs> anyway, my son, Mouty Nick, he's not the sharpest lemon in the grove. Uh, him and his dog Seymour are up to mischief as always. I must go see what he's up to. Anyway, I'll see you later, girls and boys, mums and dads. Bye! Both. I've been desperate how to have a dog for ages. I asked for one for Christmas, but Mum said I'd just go like everyone else. I even have to get black and white ones, so the lights work would be cheaper. And then we got one from the animal pet food now. Couldn't keep it because he was smoking 40 days. Then Seymour came along. Good boy, Seymour. You know those boys, I love nuts. That's probably why they often be nuts and nick around here. We grow all sorts of nuts. Still nuts, all nuts. Donuts, even coconuts. You know, I buy so many nuts, people keep buying a pinch throw for me. Can we nick a nut up, Nick? They say. And I say, no, you're not nicking nuts up, Nutty Nick. You naughty nut nickers. But they're still keeping out the themselves. <laughs> Can you do me a favour, girls and boys? Can you warn me if anyone goes near those coconuts? Just shout as loud as you can. Nutty Nick, they're nicking your nuts. <laughs> now we have practice. One, two, three. Neighbours. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a better idea. 
Why don't I take my dear mom to Team Biscuits? Team Biscuits? What a lovely thought. Yes, that'd be lovely, Nick. You've never given blood before, have you? <laughs> Wait till I get my hands on you, Nick. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I don't know about that. I get seasick really easily. In fact, just last week crossing the river, didn't you, man? Yes, but the bridge was a bit wobbly. <laughs> Do you want the trouble or not? No, I mean, a change of scene will do us a lot of good. And just think, when you're not up on deck, you can come help me down the alley. Ah, oh, go on then. Splendid. Now, that just gives the most important job the loss. My bosun. Now we've got a problem. Uh, no, we don't. You remember my friend Robinson Crusoe? Oh, I've met the lad. So what? He's got a year sailing experience under his belt. He's trustworthy and he's very keen to learn. But is he man enough for the job? Well, with a name like Robinson, he's bound to have a lot of bottles. <laughs> Can you weigh anchor? Yes, of course, sir. Don't be working the bug camp at Sainsbury's. Oh, go on, sir. Give him a chance. Please, sir. What well, I like me is I make up for sheer hard work and no shit. You've no testimonials, have you, Lex? So that's what it is. I thought he was a funny looking fella. <laughs> I should give them the job, girls and boys, yeah. mums and dads. Yeah. No, no, I shouldn't. Oh, oh yes, you should. Oh, no, I shouldn't. Oh, yes, you should. Shouldn't. Should. 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 Well, well, then. <laughs> At least we'll keep away from our doors for a while. OK, lads, let's see if we can make a mountain out of you. Sailor's man's work. But Margarita's going. Well, yes. But she's a bit different. I'll explain to you later. Right, come on, everybody. We've got lots of good next ship for the morning.
ones we lost in our last voyage. Well, they complained they weren't being fed. So in the end, I fed them to the sharks. <laughs> now I'm going to look at the two lines of fruits. And the jungle ones. They tend to be shared children or anything like that. I think I just hang around here for a while. See who comes along. Go on, crossbones, keep up. We've got loads of patches on now. I'm advertising our pirate souvenirs. Take one of them off. Next time, wear a bandana instead. Okay, I will. Alright then. Hey, look at them coconuts. Just what I fancy. Come on. Pirate videos, I've 
Oh, you've probably got that nasty tummy bug that's been going about. <coughs> Nonsense. A spot of hard work will take your mind right off it. You can come help me in the kitchen. Let's go off to the galley then. These professional chefs all want to break into the top racks of the world's culinary world. Deciding who is the talent to cut it is Master Chef Judge Greg Wallace. Then you might have better talent. And culinary legend Michelle Rue Jr. With two Michelin stars, he's expecting perfection. Very modern, everything pointing up in the air. I'm your chef for a night. Cooking doesn't get better than this. <laughs> Righty-ho then, first of all, we need to get some flour up from the hole. So you take hold of the, the funnel, okay? And you stick it in, and you say, can I have some flour please? And you'll get it. Can I have some flour? Yeah, you'll get it. Can I have some flour please? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you say more, then you'll get more. But I don't want any more. <laughs> I know, I know. If I say more, I get more. <laughs> Try saying, can I have some flour, please? And then move your head out of the way. Okay. Can I have some flour, please? And move your head out of the way. <laughs> Give it here then. <coughs> F O G. That spells danger. No, it doesn't. It spells fog. I know that. Yes, but when you're at sea, fog means danger. Or oh, I hope it isn't long before we walk. <laughs> what was that for? Say more, you get more. Oh, well, I don't need any more flour. Why don't we prepare some local specialities when we arrive in New Guinea? Now, have a look at those. It's always that thing. Nonsense. They'll see you through the day. Why? Why? Sheep's eyes. Oh, and now that it is sick, you're right. And now we'll have the snails. Un, de, three. <laughs> Don't worry, by the time I finish this thing will be. Let's put that in the chat. Nick, what's Seymour doing here? My baggage. Well, get him to sit down before he falls off. Put him on the table. What about the germs? He won't catch anything. Now sit, Seymour. Sit. No, I said sit. Oh. <laughs> That's all right, Nick. We can always serve it up as chocolate spread or pate. <laughs> right. You get rid of the dog, Seymour. Oh. Now, where's the front of the stage? Ha! Ah, are you feeling any better after all that? Yes. I'm going to do a bit peckish, actually. Can I lick the bowl, please? No! You can pull the chain like everyone else. <laughs> I couldn't possibly serve a meal like that. Did last night? No, nope, I've got a menu fit for the famous. You mean like celebrity come dine with me? Yes, that's the idea. To start, I want Jordan's surprise. A tender game bird with very little dressing. <laughs> that depends how hungry you are. Then we've got John Prescott's soup. What's that got in it? Whale meat. And then Vera Lynn Pie. Where we'll meet again. Don't know where, don't know when. Don't know how funny get it either. What about the half? I've got Dolly Parton pudding. A little peach with a very big pear. And the drink? <laughs> Victoria Beckham's mock wine. Posh spice with designer clothes. What about coffee? <laughs> Jimmy Starbucks. Where's the go-for the most extravagant meal? The Black Horse, just on the Slough Road. <laughs> We're going to the Paris Hilton, of course. Right, Ipo, now we've done all of that, let's go up on deck and see what's happening. We'll see you later, girls and boys. <laughs>
pizza? Yes, you can come and take the helm for a while, Robinson. The helm? Now, are you sure you can trust me? Of course I do. We're only been at sea together for a couple of weeks, but already you've proved yourself to be a fine young sailor. I'm sorry I misjudged you, Robinson. Perhaps I should listen to my daughter a bit more. Are there any chips inside, Captain? Hmm. I see some friendships. <laughs> Plenty of hardships. <laughs> a little musicianship. Oh, in the back row, a couple of courtships. <laughs> well, Robinson? I'm going to blow next for a while. Hi, hi, sir. So far, so good. But don't forget that Jamie Jones has made a threat. My lifelong underwater foe, who lies in wait so far below. So Robinson, without those thieves, he can sail the ship across the sea. He doesn't know an evil stranger, puts his life in mortal danger. Deep down there in the dark damp cave, ready as his watery grave, he sends a shiver through my bones. So keep your distance, Davy Jones! Oh! Oh, look at these lovely nuts here! Oh, 
sleep at like stars. Why is that? Because they're light and sparkly. No, because they come out at night. <laughs> Stop it. They do say I'd be quite the cash. Yes, but then so the ten pound flounder. Oh, well, thanks very much. Oh, forgive me. I've, I've never done this before. What acting? <laughs> I beg your pardon. A quickie. I saw the men at lunchtime. I think you mean a quiche. Wanted you to 
scum of the sea. The map. What map? The one he's got. What? This one? Yeah, that's mine, see? I told you it was real. Give it in, let's have a look. It is! It's from my late cousin, Captain Barney Barnacle. We're going to be rich! Treasure, that's amazing, Mark Marisa. But first, what should we do with this blackguard? Have him walk the plank. Yeah. Throw him in the field with the rest of the rats. Yeah. yeah. Send him to the Britwell. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yes, and what's that then? Bring <laughs> What is her? My daughter! How could you be so cruel? I'm a pirate, it's your job. Give me the match, Give me the match. Best do as you say, excuse me, man. They're only three of us now, at least we've got the map. Come on, Mrs. Tell me why you not. Are you alright, Jim? I am now, Dad. Well, I'm not going to be rich now, but I might find people with you in this bit. So don't be ridiculous, Nicholas. Without the rest of that, how can you work with us? I'll save it for you anyway. Have a kiss on it. Come on. But there they go, the scourge the seven seas. Wait a moment. I recognise that ship. It belongs to old drinking buddy of mine. They must have hijacked it from the port. <coughs> Why, those blood-curving buccaneers. Robinson, you take the hell. The rest of us, let's be the debt to these scurvy scoundrels. Well, seems like you'll be coming with us after all, Lisa. I know, but you believe it. And it's so nice to see you again, Robinson.
Do so, and meet back here for Act Two of Robinson Crusoe. <laughs> 